three years ago, um, Neil won a nature park. Park Advisory Committee made prior prioritization of this park. We got an RFQ, we got bid, and 13 firms produced bids. Four were approved, Jones & Jones was selected. We moved on to the creation of a vision plan and implementation plan for the entire Mechanicum Estuary Natural History Park. Here's images of both the vision plan by Jones and Jones and the implementation plan done by the Park Advisory Committee. Then we move on to my goals when I arrived. So, council adoption of the implementation plan, which, which occurred, thank you for that. Creation of a subcommittee, which focuses on specifically the mill ponds, because we kind of been, uh, we were treading some mud when it came to the whole larger concept there for years. Uh, facilitate their meetings, work with the Park Advisory Committee, ensure the mill ponds planning process did not become stagnant like it had prior. These are the members on the Estuary Technical Committee, which is that subcommittee that uh, I helped create. This is from the first public meeting we had on the mill ponds in August uh, 2014. I have a word cloud on the left here. These are some words that came up from the 30 plus folks that showed up to that event. Um, I wish I had a picture, but unfortunately, it was uh, this is the one we had. <laughs> so now we're at the public meeting on March 4th. Um, this is where I present the options that we presented to the next uh, group of citizens that came a word cloud and the PowerPoint itself. So we'll focus on the options. So if we're looking at the options which I'm asking you all to adopt tonight, uh, the first option would be pretty much keeping everything the same as you can see. Here we would have a blackberry buffer because people really enjoy blackberries, picking blackberries there. We'd have some bird blinds um, where all the stars are located here. So that's option one. Option two, we add a turnaround area here for parking, maybe a school bus or so. Everything else stays the same. We have the bird blinds and the buffer. Jeremy, can you show us where the access is, that is where the buses would come? Yes, so they would come from Alder Mill here, come yeah. down okay. to the parking area like so. Option three is, as you can see where the, where the bus would come in, we've got a couple um, structures there. We might have a pavilion for picnics, uh, compost toilet, a few things of that nature. Now we're adding a historical interpretation area, we're also adding a nature-based playground area. And then finally, the fourth option, <coughs> we're now into land acquisition here. We're looking at properties along 101, so we have that connectivity from Avenue U into the mill ponds and then beyond. So here's another word cloud. So with this word cloud, um, I know I'm kind of running through this pretty quickly, but the things that stand out are trails, wildlife, some parking, birds, bird blinds, things that people really enjoy there. And then I'll go through this very quickly, but this is the same PowerPoint I presented to that meeting on March 4th. So here's some images of some of the ideas we had for particular things. We've got bird blinds. Let me go to nature-based playgrounds. This is in Gresham. We go into potential observation towers. And then finally, an interpretive shelter of some sort. So now, I'm, once, once again, I'm asking you all to adopt these four options in future steps for the Mill Ponds project. The Park Advisory Committee has already adopted them. That's how we move forward to this position. So like I said, I'm, on, I'm asking for that option option to occur, and we get to the final part. So there's a couple options here. We can approach funding sources. We've got federal funding sources such as uh, rails and trails um, through the state. We have private sources like Keen, for example. Uh, there's a couple sources that focus on interpretive signage. Or we can do both, which equals going back to Jones & Jones or another uh, firm, or this is where Melissa will come up and explain in more detail another 